oh look, it's another day and it's another opportunity for me to make another Steven Fernandez video, seeing as I am now the resident YouTube expert on Steven Fernandez and his YouTube career. Now, apparently Steven, for one reason or another, deleted the majority of the videos on his channel. I had nothing to do with that. If I had that much power on YouTube, I would make myself the number one most subscribed channel on YouTube, not just for this channel, but for my other channels and all the hard work I've been doing for the last two years. So rest assured, young people, I had nothing to do with Steven removing his videos. And please don't say he deleted his channel. He didn't. It's still there. There are a variety of reasons why he might have done this, one of which is that he got a television show. And when television networks acquire talent, sometimes they acquire their assets as well, and they dictate what can or cannot be done with those assets. So assets meaning something they own that has value, and something that the talent or the star owns that has value that pertains to their show or their brand. So then when you sign with the network, they take that and they own it. So they might not want, have wanted him to have those videos up. Who knows? Or he could have just gotten in trouble with his parents and they forced him to take it down. Or YouTube saw that it was a 12-year-old with a bare-bottomed model and said, hey, we can't allow this on YouTube, and they shut him down temporarily. But I am pretty sure he's going to be back. Now, to address a comment I got from Picked First for Kickball, good for you, I was never picked first for kickball. <laughs> he asked, or she asked, I'd like to know what the underlying cause of your need to dictate and control other people's lives and actions is. It would be actually R. But I don't have the need to dictate other people's lives. However, I feel that I have a right as an adult to stand up for reasonable rules and regulations. And I know teenagers, and what I had written in the response is that, that this response that Picked First for Kickball wrote was so incredibly teenaged because teenagers don't understand why there are rules. Teenagers are in the time of their life where they are questioning authority and they believe that authority just serves to limit their freedoms to go out and party and have fun and socialize and get boyfriends and girlfriends and have sex and try smoking and drinking and all that other stuff. But no, it's because without rules, there's no social control or order. And as you have seen in problematic neighborhoods, when nobody's around to stand up and have standards and guidance for youth, there are problems. When kids are allowed to do whatever they want at 13, they get pregnant, they get drunk, they get in gang fights, they get killed, they ruin their lives. However, when there are adults around who say, hey, no, you can't start having sex, especially without a condom, until you're, say, I don't know, at least 14, 15, even that, that's young. Um, no, you can't drink on a school night when your brain, your rational brain hasn't stopped developing. So it's just me as an adult and as a parent. This gets into the second part of this person's question. Um, are you, so why do you need to dictate and control other people's lives and actions? Are you not able to have kids of your own? For God's sake, I actually have a kid, which is more of a reason why when I see 12 year old who's the same age as my son acting like a little misogynist or not even just misogynist because then you'll be like, oh, you're a feminist because none of you, not none of you, a lot of you young men are completely ignorant as to what feminism is and it's not about being a man hater, it's about searching for equality. Um, but it, when I see a young man behave in a negative way towards women and in a sexual way at an age when he should be watching My Little Pony or I don't know, skating, just skating in a skate park and like filming himself doing stupid tricks or like climbing up trees. And I don't, and I don't, I don't even want to hear anymore about you guys saying, oh, well, it's ghetto life, man, thug life growing up in Compton. So what? Maybe you should stop behaving like you live in Compton and that you need to emulate the thug life. And you're like, oh, well, I have, I'm peer pressured into behaving a certain way. I have to be aggressive or I won't survive. I, I don't believe that for a second. I think you can grow up in a really horrible area and do the best to focus on what's important, which is at that age, your school, maintaining positive friendships, 
staying away from drugs and sex that might get girls pregnant, which will fuck up at least the next, I don't know, 15, 18 years of your life, and be a good, respectful human being towards other human beings. And Stephen was not being respectful. He was harassing women in the streets. Of course that's wrong. Would you, would you like your sister or your mom or your girlfriend to get harassed in the streets? I don't freaking think so. So, okay, so have you always been this controlling? I've always been opinionated, but I'm not controlling. I'm just standing up for what I believe is right. I'm a leader. I'm not a weak follower, unlike some of y'all who just blindly follow a kid who freaking skateboards. Being a leader is standing up for things that are right and that are fair and that are good and that are positive. And that means frequently that you are not going to be liked. But I'm prepared to not be liked when I'm protecting kids, children. Okay, so uh, what, gave, what you, do you suppose gave you the right to coerce others into having him take down his videos? I didn't coerce anyone. Do you even know what coercion means? There was no coercion that occurred. There was simply me making a series of videos because I thought what he had on his channel was wrong, given his age. Um, are you his mother? I am not his mother. <laughs> You're going to need a parachute to get down off that high horse of yours, ma'am. I think you're suffering from just as many problems as him, but you hide them better. There is not a single human being on a planet who is devoid of personal challenges. Do I have problems in my life right now? Actually, no. Other than wanting to be paid more to be a commentator, radio host, activist, actor, and model, I don't have problems. I, I work very hard to not have problems. And actually, it's easy to not have problems if you live your life the right way and you focus on treating other people better and treating yourself well and having something called moral integrity, which means not abusing other people for the lulls. So that's my huge rant this early in the morning about Stephen Fernandez. And I don't even wish him ill. I just don't want him acting like a jerk when he's 12 or a jerk period. Like if it was comedic and it was clear, it was funny, and he had permission from other actors in his videos, I'd be okay with it. But just randomly attacking people off the street, I'm, I can't condone that. Condone meaning accept it. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm sure he's going to be back, kids. This isn't going to be the end of his skating career. It's just YouTube. Just YouTube. And um, adults stand up for rules because rules help people live better lives. Sorry to break it to you. Oh. <sighs>